Identity is part of our everyday lives. We use our identity multiple times every day without really thinking about it. When we open a mobile money account, apply for a new loan, pay tuition fees, make a medical appointment, get access to our workplace, or even access to government services. Every time we do any of these activities or a million others, we're using our identity. Mobile technology has transformed our world and continues to from high-end smartphones in developed economies through to simpler devices in developing ones. Mobiles have become a part of our everyday life. And because of the rapid evolution in digital infrastructure and connectivity, we are now on the verge of transitioning from a pre-internet way of doing things into a new era of managing our identities online. And that brings up the question, what does transitioning to a digital world look like? In the modern world, we carry our identity everywhere we go in the form of ID cards, passports, train or bus passes, medical cards, driver's licenses, and the list goes on. Our wallets are stuffed with physical representations of who we are. These forms of identification work because society traditionally recognizes and accepts them as a valid proof of someone's identity. And what we aim to do is give everybody the ability to use digital credentials much in the same way that you use physical credentials today. We are building a way to enable digital trust. And this is where a Talaprism comes in. Much like how we store our credit and ID cards in our wallets, a Talaprism is like a mobile wallet for all your important documents, like government ID, diplomas, health insurance, vouchers, and more that will allow you to own, control, and share these verified credentials independently to any organization, agency, or institution at any time. Just like the framework that currently exists to validate physical credentials, Digital identities need a set of standards to validate the authenticity of a digital identifier. When it comes to your digital identity, the decentralized identifier and the verified credential standards allow you to easily prove who you are in a common format that is widely accepted and recognized, all while keeping your actual identity and personal information safe and secure, and cutting out any middleman. And you might be familiar with the ability to log into third-party services or apps using your Google or Facebook account. And a Teleprism will allow you to do something very similar, but instead of using an account owned by somebody else, you have total control and ownership over what information is shared. And even better, all of your digital identities are stored on your smartphone, which offers greater security and portability. And now let's take a look at how this all works. Meet Joe. He's just an average guy, and he's gonna help you understand how the digital credentials process works. Joe downloads the Ateliprism app and registers his account. A unique private DID is created, and this serves as a unique digital ID for interactions with the government services he'll be accessing. The government verifies Joe's ID and scans and records his biometric data to create a unique digital ID. Joe is then issued a digital ID, which is cryptographically signed with the government's DID. Joe's unique identifier is also included in his credentials. The digital ID is stored on Joe's phone and securely backed up in a personal data store. Whenever Joe needs to access any digital service, such as social programs, medical or academic records, voting, banking, and even insurance, the service provider can independently and confidently verify his identity without having to ask the issuer, in this case, the government. Websites, apps, or possible employers can all check that Joe's credentials are valid and provide the requested service. So what makes a decentralized identity secure and trustworthy? In one word, cryptography. Joe's credentials are linked to a unique ID that is signed with a cryptographic key. When Joe needs to share his credentials, he creates a secure, private, and trusted connection with the other party. This channel is secured using the credentials associated with each party's DID. Joe can also request the deletion of a shared credential or revoke access to any third party that currently has access to his personal data store at any time. Joe is now in full control of his digital identity. No more lengthy forms, Joe can now sign up for insurance or a host of other digital services with just a single click that uniquely only his new digital ID can provide. And that's why Atala is one of the keys to economic identity across the whole of Africa.